Now let's look at the Lewis structure of H2CO. We're going to have two hydrogens, each with one valence electron, plus four from our carbon, plus six from our oxygen, and so we get a total of 12 electrons. We're going to start by putting our um, carbon in the middle, because between carbon and oxygen it's the least electronegative, and hydrogen is always a terminal atom. So I'm going to give everybody single bonds at first. Then I'm going to see I've used six electrons. I have six left. I see that hydrogen doesn't want any more electrons. Those have complete duets, so they're happy. I can put the remaining six electrons on oxygen, which is using up all my electrons, but carbon doesn't actually have an octet. And so what I'm going to see happening is I'm going to get some electrons to move into and form a double bond. So I'm going to end up with oxygen double bonded to carbon and I still have two lone pairs on the oxygen so one of those lone pairs of electrons moved in to form a double bond between carbon and oxygen. The only reason I need to make double bonds is if I have an incomplete octet and I can move those in in order to get an octet around an atom. If I already have eight electrons such as an expanded octet moving those electrons in is not going to help anything.